Hello, my soccer universe. Two more rounds of Euro qualifying and then Euro qualifying proper is history. Yes, we have the playoffs in March, but you know, the proper rounds end um, by Tuesday next week. So I'm gonna guide you through what to watch. I dressed for the occasion with my new Ukraine jersey. Ukraine has already qual qualified. And so I think this is the most neutral thing I can wear for this one. Um, I mentioned now in my Euro 2020 jersey preview kind of thingy um, that there are three jerseys that I'm actively looking at into getting, but actually, if I'm honest, there are five. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I was thinking Denmark, Russia, Poland, although Turkey and Finland definitely are also hanging in there. Those are jerseys that I actually should have. Um, so as I a, expect those teams to do well at the Euros, A and B, they have been consistently good within Europe for a while. Let's go through the games and I'll go through it um, day by day, uh, picking the most interesting matchups and also a little bit on the situation there. Uh, we have on Thursday, it actually starts already with a big one, Turkey against Iceland. Uh, a point sees Turkey and France through. This is a must win for Iceland. And this is the first thing that, that we can watch. I have to say, huge match right there and then. Um, and later on at 8.45, it's also a last match and a potentially a qualifying match for the Czechs against Kosovo. If the Czechs win, they're in. A draw for Kosovo gives them a chance, but have in mind they have to play them at home to England, which might not be enough. So, um, Better Kosovo gets a win there. Um, but I win and the Czechs are in. They have a point advantage over uh, England. However, um, I think if they don't win, this puts them in a little bit of a pickle. But you know, they have also a game in hand against Bulgaria away. So, you know, take your chances, Bulgaria. Uh, pro playing to an empty stadium, so that doesn't help them either. Other games on uh, Thursday evening that could be interesting. Uh, both Portugal and Serbia should get wins, which uh, then sees more or less um, gives Serbia a chance. I mean, Serbia has to win to give them a chance in the last game. Uh, France basically needs a point and they are through. Albania has to win but I uh, have minimal chances uh, there. Then we go to Friday, where the big matchup is already early. It's not a big matchup, but it could already decide the group uh, Finland against Liechtenstein. A point for Finland, death row. Uh, and against Liechtenstein at home, I would expect nothing but a point. So um, I would think this is an interesting one. Probably to be absolutely safe, they have to win it. So I, I better win it, uh, Armenia and Bosnia could still draw level with Finland, especially if Bosnia potentially holding a head-to-head -head against Finland. So better Finland wins it, they're in, should be no problem. Uh, other game on, other two games on Friday in group uh, F, we have uh, Romania against Sweden. This is a tricky one. Romania needs to win this one. If Sweden wins this one, they are through. If Romania wins that one, uh, they put themselves in a good position, but they then have to play Spain. <laughs> and Sweden has the Faroe Islands. So uh, not all, all is lost for Sweden. Norway plays the Faroe Islands early. They are more or less out of the running. So those are the games um, that happen on Friday. I have to say Denmark and Switzerland better get their wins. Uh, that put, put Ireland under pressure. If they lose points there, then Ireland has a chance. And then there's a really nice game on Friday with probably at the moment it's played nothing bearing on it. Bosnia against Italy. Uh, the first game was such a glorious game that you would expect something there. Um, but Italy is already qualified and Bosnia most likely will not qualify. Saturday. On Saturday I actually have three games and they're all late games. Uh, Yes, the early games we have, Wales needs to get the win in Azerbaijan to give themselves a chance. Uh, Russia-Belgium, great matchup. It's just uh, both a quad qualified. They play literally for nothing. Uh, it's a glorified friendly. So we all have to look in the evening. 
Group C, Northern Ireland against Netherlands. This is a last chance for the for Northern Ireland. They gave the Dutch quite the fight uh, last time around, so maybe if the Netherlands win, it's done. I think even a point is enough for the Netherlands. Just let me check the standing there. Uh, yeah, a point is enough for the Netherlands to go through, and that means the same thing for Germany. So. Uh, that is basically where it stands. Um, then Croatia, Slovakia. These are the top two teams currently in that group, which is um, Group E. It's the last game for Croatia. So if Croatia wins, they're in. Should they only get a point that leaves them uh, vulnerable to Hungary with a win swoop in? Um, although I don't know, um, the head-to-head uh, -head maybe that could um, that could 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 be iffy, but you know Slovakia is then also only a point behind uh, Croatia. This is a potential backbreaker for Croatia. Better win it and you're in. I honestly have to have to say I'm not 100% how it goes. Slovakia I think still looks fine because they play Azerbaijan uh, in the last game. It's the last game for Croatia. Uh, Saturday also uh, we have Group G, Austria needs a point against Northern Macedonia to be in. If Austria should not make the point, Israel needs to win against Poland to have a chance. So Austria looks pretty good, same goes for Slovenia against Latvia, which is played early since uh, UEFA is not giving them any chance. So that's Saturday. Sunday then is the last match day and there Early at three o'clock, I have to say, is already um, Serbia Ukraine it's must win for Serbia and hoping that Luxembourg does something against Portugal. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much. I mean, Kosovo England, it depends on what Kosovo did in the Czech Republic. Same goes for Bulgaria and the Czech Republic. Uh, maybe there's something to play for, maybe there isn't. Um, also, uh, Turkey plays at Andorra. <laughs> Probably will be three points, but they already might be qualified. Same goes for Albania against France. France, I don't see anything happening uh, in that group. On Monday, I think the biggest game on Monday is probably Ireland against Denmark. Uh, this is the last chance for Ireland. They need this win if uh, Switzerland and uh, Denmark got their wins on um, Friday. Um, then also, depending on what Romania did, Spain against Romania. Uh, there might be something to play for, for Romania. The a Group J, I don't think there will be anything to play for because Finland most likely has qualified. And then Tuesday, um, all 8.45 games. The one that sticks out is Wales against Hungary. This is a last chance for Wales. I have to say it this way. Wales needs to win the last two games to put themselves in a good running, but also a last chance for Hungary. Slovakia with a win could probably uh, get somewhere. So uh, let's see. The Belgium-Russia group, as I said, is un is not in interesting and so will be the Poland-Austria group. So uh, Germany and Netherlands also will probably have nothing else left to play for. If Northern Ireland uh, got the result against the Netherlands, then uh, they might need to get a result against Germany as well. Germany might already be qualified at the point, so it's all open. So I think the last uh, match they might actually be a rather straightforward one, but let's see how it how it goes. Sorry, I should have looked a little bit closer into the groups, but yeah, you see, um, I think the first three days there are really some good games. Then the Ireland Denmark game, that's one that I have definitely marked. Um, and then let's see, I think in any of the two games in Group E, uh, Croatia, Slovakia and Wales, Hungary will also probably tell us something. But all remains to be seen. Let me know what you'll be watching. Those are the interesting matchups. Of course, you can always watch the big boys, even if they have qual qualified or watch your home country, of course. Um, as I said, thanks to the jersey, I'm not supporting Austria all that much. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon about the results of all these games. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.